Hi everyone, it's me again. Today, today's video is gonna be about spaghetti, as you can see right here. Oh, this thing is gonna be shaky. Hold on a second. Anyways, just trying to figure out a way to get this taller. There we go. And I have spaghetti here with a little bit of like Italian cheese. It's like a mixture of Italian cheeses. And I have a salad. This is just regular salad. Just lettuce. It has ranch and Thousand Islands and croutons. And to drink, I'm just going to have a good old cup of water. Anyways, let's get started. I am super starving. Oh, my plate is doing a little twirl. I love spaghetti. Just pasta, I think. Any type of pasta, but mostly like spaghetti. Mm. I went to the store, bought everything to make my spaghetti, and I forgot my garlic bread. Like, I always get a big loaf of garlic bread and get mozzarella cheese and ranch and I mix it together and I put it on top of the bread and I put it in the oven and it tastes really good I have my son in the background back here so you're probably gonna hear him but anyways today is Friday For you guys, it's probably a different day because um, today I'm uploading, or probably already uploaded, the Burger King video. some of this salad I feel like this camera is like not focusing on me it's like focusing on the background okay this thing has got to go sorry anyways but yeah, I hope you guys like the Burger King one. I don't know, like, is that one better? Anyways, I had to change the settings. <clears throat> this thing is really annoying. What did I say? I don't remember. <clears throat> so yeah 300 subscribers thank you very much I'm very very happy and about the buffalo wild wings I just remember right now I am going to do it probably next week Gotta get my hair out of the way. Let's put it on this side. <clears throat> Anyways, I heard that the Buffalo Wild Wings wings are half off on Tuesdays. I don't know if it's everywhere, but I know that here. So that's when I'm that's when I'm gonna go. When they have off. <laughs> I 
So right now, I just remembered. Day before yesterday. <clears throat> the night before yesterday. When I was at work. And there was this, um, like, veteran guy. Retired vet. Who had a twin brother, who I guess they both run in a room. They both they both got a room. Like each, like by themselves. And then one of the brothers comes into the office talking about how he couldn't go upstairs, that he wanted his brother's room. And or stay with his brother. I couldn't understand him. This guy was like mumbling. Big time. He was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like, and I was like, get out. <laughs> like, I couldn't understand him. I was like, what? I kept saying, what, what? And I'm like, I can't understand what you're saying. Like, I had to tell him, I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Two hours later, I finally figured out what he was trying to tell me. that he was his room was upstairs and his brothers was downstairs he didn't want to go upstairs because he had like a bad knee or something so anyways i let him go into his brother's room and then he calls me saying i don't know where my brother is my brother hasn't showed up all this crap so i was like well i don't know <laughs> what do you want me to do <laughs> like go look for him Anyways, and I told him, oh, because he kept calling the room, calling, and I told him, you need to stop calling up here. Like, I'm like, I don't understand you. You keep calling about your brother. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. He was drunk. I think that's what it was. Finally got him to stop calling. Maybe a few hours later, guess who shows up in my office? The brother. And they're like old. They're like in their 60s. Not like 60s old, but they're older. Um, both of them, they're twins. <clears throat> they were twin brothers. And I didn't know that until the guy told me. And I checked both of their IDs because we have them on file. And I'm like, oh yeah, they're twins. But the one that walks in, the second one that was lost, he comes in dressed up like a, like, you know, an army clothes. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, he was all dressed up except he didn't have his helmet. And he was drunker and crazier than the brother that called. He comes in saying, My name is this and that and I'm a homicide investigator. <laughs> this was at 2 in the morning, okay? I checked the time. And he's like this. I guess he was injured. He's like, I've solved so many crimes tonight. Do you know what happened down the street at that store? And I'm like, no. <clears throat> Anyways, he was like, I just saved the guy from getting his bike stolen. No, he, he said some guy got his bike stolen at the store down the street. And that the guy asked him for help. And freaking... I guess Indiana Jones over here... <laughs> went after the guy and got the bike back. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> he was like... I've solved, he, oh he's talking like drunk, I've solved so many cases tonight, I'm a, 
I'm a volunteer, I'm a volunteer. He's like, I'm not a police officer, I'm a retired police officer. And I've, I've solved so many cases tonight. I'm a homicide investigator. If there's any bombs around here, we will get them. And I was like... So I'm standing here listening to him, like, okay, like, how long is this going to take, you know, tell me about his investigations and shit. So I wasn't even talking. I was just quiet the whole time, staring at him, going, mm-hmm, oh, 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 really? Oh, mm-hmm, just playing along. And then he's like, you call uh, Lieutenant Mike Boudet or Mike something. You let him know. I solved so many cases tonight. It gets better. He's like, I got injured right here trying to save a man, a man's bike. And he starts crying and he's like, <laughs> I'm like, not even lying. That's exactly how he did it. And I'm over here like. <laughs> and I was like, oh, um, I didn't know what to say. And then he's like, oh, I'm a homicide investigator. And I was like, okay. And he just kept going on. He's like, I will protect the children, women. Men, I don't care what race, color, religion, I will protect you, and all this crap. He's like, I will protect you. And then he's like, he started telling me to write this down. And he's like, are you writing this down? I'm like, oh, um, let me get a pen. <laughs> like, so then he's like. He was talking like if he was the president giving a speech after like something bad happened. Like, we will not give up. We will be all right. I will protect you. Like, that's that's what it reminded me of. We are strong. Anyways, so I started pretending like I was writing stuff down. <laughs> Other people would have kicked his ass out already and called the cops or something. But when they're not doing anything bad, and they're just talking, I kind of feel bad for them, you know. Like, he's obviously been through some stuff, so I just listen. <laughs> and he's like, tell them that if they want to sign up for the Army National Guard, and I'm like, the hell, we're in a commercial? And he's like, they need to be... They need to have a clean record and all this crap. And he started the same thing. Saying the same thing. I'm a national. I mean, I'm a volunteer. <clears throat> homicide investigator. Now he will give his complete name. And tell them that we will not back down. Then he would get stuck in what he was saying. And I was, he was going like this. And I was looking at them with my, with my, and he's like, with my. <sighs> and he started crying again. <laughs> this ain't the only, this isn't the first time this happens. I've had so many people like cry and so I'm kind of used to it. You know, you might feel awkward or think it was awkward, but no. I'm just like, let it out. Let it out, buddy. <laughs> but he was very drunk. I could smell the alcohol. La, 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 la. 45 minutes later, like not even lying, it was almost three. Somebody decides to finally show up. And they come in and I tell the lady, I can't rent you a room right now because our system was down for two hours. 
which we already knew it was like rebooting itself or something so it was, it was gone for two hours like we were we were offline and i told her that i'm like oh, i'm sorry i can't rent you a room because it's offline you know but in another hour it'll be ready if you want to come back so she goes outside because she saw the guy crying and like she kind of looked at me like this poor girl so she goes outside and calls her husband to come inside <clears throat> So he comes inside and then he's like looking at the guy and he's like some tall like bald guy probably in his 40s and he's looking at me and he's looking at the guy kind of like wondering what's going on and then you know, I told him the same thing that we didn't have no rooms, and he's like, "All right," but they wouldn't leave. I guess they wanted to stay there with me, just to make sure everything was okay. But I just felt embarrassed. Like, oh my god. So then the guy starts talking to them i'm sorry guys i'm i'm sorry i'm just a retired homicide investigator he's in uh he starts talking to him saying i'm sorry i'm a retired homicide investigator and i've solved so many crimes today and he starts crying again grown-ass man and the lady's just looking at him like and the guy's like oh, oh and then he goes and he opens the door all right sir we'll have a good night like he was trying to get him out of there which worked because he finally left my god I like my feet was hurting I was there for an hour standing in the same spot like this for an hour can you imagine <clears throat> so they finally left and the guy said the guy that with his wife he's like and I said I'm sorry <laughs> I'm like he's been here for an hour so thank you thank you for coming in He's like, uh, he's like, was there really no rooms or were you just saying it because you didn't want to rent to that guy? I'm like, oh, he already has a room here. And his brother. And his brother's just as crazy. <laughs> like, damn. Anyways. He was like, yeah, my wife told me. So I came in trying to be some, some kind of assistance. I'm like, well, thank you. Thank you. It works. And then somebody, like, later when they left. Somebody called saying that their power was out. So I had to like lock the office and go give them a key to change them to a different room. And when I was up there, guess who I see walking towards the office again? Yes, the homicide investigator. So I stayed up there and I just watched. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going back there right now. Uh -uh. He ended up just leaving. Like, I guess he saw nobody was there, so he left. So I went back to the office. I'm like, oh my God, I hope he doesn't come back. And no, he didn't come back. But, <laughs> that was crazy. So whenever I tell my husband these stories, he just goes, mm. <laughs> like, because he's used to all the shit that I see. But yeah. I'm like, my night... This might, you know, this night couldn't have gone smoothly. Oh, no. So then I told the morning person that came in after me. I'm like, I told her what happened. And she was like, oh, man, we hoped that they wouldn't cause any trouble because I guess they were crazy when they came in. So I was like, we could have avoided all of this if you didn't rent to them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a problem with crazy people. I've had crazy people that call me crying. I had a lady call me telling me somebody was watching her. And that she knew and that she knew that they were listening to us. Like she was all paranoid. And a lot of times I just go along. Like if somebody says they're the president. I'm like alright Mr. President. Here's your room. Like I, I just go along. You know I just I don't care.
I don't mind them. I've had conversations with people for like two hours. They'll come in the office. They talk. Sometimes it's crazy talk, but I'm just listening. Ain't nothing wrong with just listening. As long as they don't get violent or anything, then I'll be like, alright, go. Hmm. Anyways. I'm stuffed. I finished all of my spaghetti and my salad. <sighs> yes. What are you guys doing today? Uh, actually, it's already not Friday. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.